me get a pause, bro. Hollywood is up in flames now, bro. They going to kill Diddy, bro. Hey, yo. <laughs> hey, people. They are going to kill him before he exposes everybody. <laughs> look, look, I'm saying, people, we talked about Diddy three times already, but it's gotten a lot crazier. I was saying this before. Diddy is either going to end up dead Mm-hmm. Or he's going to expose everybody, and the people that he's going to expose is not going to let that slide. Mm, they that's why they say he's not eating in prison. But you know eat, why though? Because they think he, he think they trying to poison him. Yeah, bro. Yo, I'm telling you, he's gonna Diddy is going to die, bro. Because I know the amount of shit that Diddy knows, knows is crazy. Going, he's work. going to cook him. He's going they're going to cook him before he cooks everybody, bro. It's crazy work, bro. He, he's probably on the level of Epstein, bro. I was, I was just about to say, like this is the the craziest thing since Jeffrey Epstein. Like this he's is the, the most equivalent. Level. But I ain't gonna. It lie is on that level. I ain't gonna lie. You gotta think. It literally is on that level. Though. I don't think he did everything, bro. You don't think he did every? No, 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 no. I'm glad you said it. I don't think he did everything. I don't know. I think he did the freak offs and things. But I, mean, I, think, I think he. he did that too, I don't man. think he's the head honcho. I think he's the little pawn. My thing is though, like, is a freak off really illegal? If you're forcing them to do it, that's like harassment. I don't think he was forcing them, bro. Like, oh yeah, no, but not some of them. But like, he did have underage kids in there. Right. Like, like Epstein. Like he was doing that weird stuff, and like right. that's why. Yo, you know you had tunnels that led to the Playboy Mansion? I mean... What the hell? Why the hell you got tunnels that... You know what be at the Playboy Mansion? Is that... Wait. Pause. Pause this conversation. The Playboy Mansion is so open. I don't mean I'm not going. I just... I'll go. (laughs) Because freaking... Because you know Hugh Hugh Hefner died. Yeah, he been But Yeah, but I'm just saying... they found sure it's still open. But they found tunnels leading to the... Hugh Hefner crib, the Playboy Mansion. Why the hell you got tunnels going? Why you... Why why, you... Why you... That's the easy access, cuz... I I I believe the freak offs. I believe he was. I believe that he was a freak, bro. But I don't believe all this shit, bro. I, and I said I'm. I actually don't like for me. Like don't even quote me because I don't. I, I I don't do more research on this more than just the memes and laughing at it. Yeah, yeah. And the jokes and the baby oil and shit. Yeah. First of all, why you had a thousand bottles? A thousand bottles of baby oil is crazy, bro. He making sure that joint extra lubricated. But I don't think he did all this trafficking shit that everybody. No, saying. I'm telling. You, I think he was the pawn. Like he was like, bro. I think the real head honcho was like Jay Z and them, bro. Damn, like look, free Jay, bro. like think think about it like this, right? I think I, I mean, thought then Jay then he he got with Beyonce. She was 15 or 16 or something. Yeah, he bro. Was like 27. 28. Nah, that was that was Aaliyah. That was like nah a, Beyonce too. But Beyonce was young. Yeah, Beyonce. Yo, I, Beyonce. I just found Beyonce just turned forty. She's like 41, 42. How is Jay Z? Uh, like 55, 56. Oh damn! So oh, but, ew. Yeah, bro. And he got. I think. I think he got with Beyonce when she was fifteen or sixteen or something like that. Or he knew her when she was fifteen or sixteen and got with her when she was seventeen, eighteen, or something like that. Yeah. No. But Beyonce young as shit, bro. Like I, know. I thought. I'm thinking Beyonce They're the same age. I'm like, yeah, Beyonce about 50, 55. No, she, like she just turned forty one or forty two or some shit like that. Yeah, bro. Cardi B young too. I thought Cardi B was older shit. She like twenty nine, thirty. Nah, I, I knew she wasn't that old. She just looked old because of them black and yeah, miles. But I thought she was like thirty five, forty. She like twenty nine, thirty eight. I yeah, mean, no. 28, 29, 29, 30. 32, something shit like yeah, that. Yeah, she's. I knew she. I knew she wasn't that old because like she was on Instagram and all that stuff. I remember. I think I heard her age. But I think she just looked old because she was like smoke them cigarettes and them black and miles. Oh no! But the thing, all right. So this is why this is why I have this is why I want to talk to you about with the Jay Z thing, right? Let me cook up for you because me and my cut shout out my cousin JJ, bro. He literally texted me this morning asking asking me if we talked about Diddy, and he was mm-hmm. low key cooking up with the stuff he was telling me, right? Mm-hmm. So basically, right? I think that P Diddy, I think P Diddy is guilty for a lot of things. But I just think I don't think it was just him by himself. Like I don't think he was the head mastermind. I think he was working with like Jay Z and Beyonce and all of them, and they were like a link, and they were the ones that was running the whole industry of like the music industry, right? Uh-huh. Because I think of it as like this: there's a lot of deaths that happen in the music industry that help benefit Jay Z. Like if you look at it with, um, I remember I was watching the doc. I don't know if you ever watched that um, interview with that one lady who's who Ben said that like Jay Z was the one who did all this stuff. She had like a low cut. No, I, I don't know if you ever that. seen that, but she was basically saying like, I don't know, you know, who Big L is. Yeah, I know. Big you know, L. Big. So Big L, she was saying Big L put Jay Z on to like mm-hmm. you know when he made that first freestyle. That's how Jay Z got put on the platform. Big L was tough. And then Big L got murdered. Then he got killed. Mm-hmm. And Big now Jay Z is there. Big, Big L was. Tough. I heard he was O D. Big L was like before his time type stuff, but like. He got he gets out of here now. Jay Z is up, mm-hmm. and then Tupac and Biggie. Jay Z was with Tupac. They was making songs together. He was with Biggie. They both end up dead. Now he's at the top of I the totem pole though. Made a song with Tupac. There was I think he he didn't. I thought no wait did he make a song? 
I don't think he got a song with. But they were they were cool though. I don't know. I don't or think. he was, you know, he was Jay Z was cool with Biggie. He was cool with Big. But you know, Biggie and Tupac were beefing. Mm-hmm. So you know, people say P D P Diddy had Tupac killed. Yeah, he might have done that. But I feel like once they that happened, freaking with the Biggie situation, I feel like I heard like, um, somebody told Biggie's girl at the time. I think it was um Lauren London. Wasn't no not Lauren London. Faith Evans. Faith Evans at the time. Was like yo, like before he died, like yo, don't be with him because we really gonna kill this man. Yeah. Because at the time, the, like Jay Z's trying to be at the top, and Biggie was at the top at the time. Mm-hmm. So he's like, you know what? Let me cut him off. Now he's done. And now think about it again. Jay Z was with R. Kelly. They used to be doing all this they stuff, and then Fiesta, Fiesta. They was with R. Kelly, and they was also with Aaliyah. That's when they was they were both sleeping with Aaliyah when she was young as hell. Mm. But they didn't. Nobody knew about that. But look at it now. Jay Z met Beyonce. And then a lot of people think Jay Z had Aaliyah killed in that plane crash, and then to put Beyonce on to put Beyonce on now because now they're both at the top of the industry. Yeah. Because think about it now, the industry Jay Z and Beyonce are always at the top. Yeah. They will always forever be at the top. And then I heard something about Kanye saved Taylor Swift from being next because he said something about Taylor Swift album really not that all that, and Beyonce's was better. So now people start listening to Beyonce more uh-huh. because at the time Taylor Swift was coming up. And then she was coming up, coming next to Beyonce, she would have been out of there, bro. And it's just the amount of people that have died or have, like, been out of the loop. And I, I didn't even talk about this. I forgot. Like, there was a point when Jay-Z was by, battling Nas for, like, the top, like, yeah. rep. And then Nas randomly just started crashing out. Like, they said he, like, something happened with him mentally and he just wasn't in it no more. And now Jay-Z's uh-huh. at the top. And then, like I said with R. Kelly, "Ether Still Crazy" is this song, one of the top top three diss songs of all time. I'm saying, and he it's like Jay. he cooked Jay. He was right there with them, and then randomly he just fell off. It wasn't like he just stopped making music. It's just like people say he went like I don't know if he went cuckoo. He just he was just acting weird. And then with R. Kelly, R. Kelly was rising up in the R and B game. Like you know, R. Kelly was everywhere, featuring mm-hmm. everything R and B. But you know, Jay Z didn't have him killed, but he. He ratted yeah. out all the stuff that yeah. Cuz did. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know you were a freak. They got about to tell on you. <laughs> exactly. So now R. Kelly out of here. Everybody think R. Kelly crazy, whatever. Same now with Kanye West. Think about Kanye West. Kanye West he was... Been cra- I don't think Jay-Z made him crazy. You, I don't think he was ever that crazy when we was younger, though. Nah, when he was, he was up, crazy. he wasn't acting like this, though. Nah, he was. You bro. think so? He used to cra- Ever since his mom died, he's been crashing out, bro. What if they had something to do with that? That's a different story. You know what I mean? Because it's just the fact that every death, like big death in like the industry where there's like a higher up that died, benefited, benefited Jay-Z. And like now he's literally at the top. Like whatever he wants goes because Rock Nation is literally the, the top of the top. Mm-hmm. Like if you sign to Rock Nation, you made it. Yeah. But like there's also a thing where people think like they're like him and Beyonce is devil worshippers and shit like that yeah. where... I don't know about all that, but there's yeah, they always gonna there's always gonna be those speculations, but because you we don't know. Do you think so? I I think I don't think I don't think it's all right. I don't think because I there th- are people that do that. I I don't think I don't know if it's devil worship, and I don't know what it like is. selling your soul. Because I, I just I know it is something to it that we will never see. I just in think, our lifetime because we're normal citizen. Mm-hmm. If them even like we don't like we're not gonna ever see it. I just think it's weird. And if we do, we're going to be cooked. That is true. You know? I don't think that... I feel like because they're so famous and so big right now that it w- they can... They have so much control over things that we don't even know about. Mm-hmm. And it's like... I, I always... I remember my cousin was telling me, like, it, it was weird how Beyonce's childhood home burnt down on that Christmas morning. And I heard that they were there that night. Yeah. They are they're, they're there that night. And, like, what if they were doing some demonic stuff in there? And they, like, set on fire. Because, like, arson is a thing. Yeah. And then another time, I think another one of their cribs in Houston burnt down. And what if they're doing the same thing in the, over there? I mean, that's kind of weird. I don't like that's a, that's a stretch. Yeah, it's a little stretch. It's a stretch, yeah. but like I think I do think is definitely factors and shit that we don't know about. And like mm-hmm. I said, we would never know about. Yeah. Like I don't think you get that big, not famous, and it's not like you like, had to pull some strings. Yeah, like it's not like yeah, like you just made it because you 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 there. Nigga. I know, like I feel like there's people... something that for me is always somebody bigger. For corruption. Me. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a mm-hmm. little corruption. It's all politics or everything in the, it's somewhere in there that's like, ah, right, you made it here because you had to do this and do this, do this and mm-hmm. do this. You feel me? That's... You ain't just make it here because you grind it. Like feel me? It's not like you 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 a kingpin. You ain't making it here by being honest, nigga. You got to yeah. take, take some people out. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, that's true. So I think it, 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 there there is. 
levels to it that we're, we just would never know. Because it's just we're no more.